Hi guys, welcome back to the channel or if you're new, welcome. This is one of the videos I do every month. I share the colour combinations that I've used on um, a group of pages that I've done lately and I just go through what, what pencils I've used and share the colour combinations in case you're interested. And just so you can see them properly, I share the page that they're from as well so you can actually decide whether you like the colour combination or not. So we're starting with the page I did in my Reptiloids book. You guys know this is one of my favourites, so it appears regularly. Um, I've done this Duck Lady. Now I have actually done this video as a speed colour to music, so it's up on the channel if you want to colour along with that. Um, and if not, <laughs> then the combinations are here for you to see anyway. Uh, these are, This is done with the Black Widow pencils. Uh, so, I'll just check I'm actually on screen and you can see all the greens are this combination and we have CB100 Opal Green, so that means it's from the Cobra Black Widow set, CB96 Forest from the Cobra set, C SC45 Irish Green, so that's from the Scorpion set, and SC29 Scorpion, obviously from the Scorpion set. Um, we then have this purple combination here, so her dress and her um, headpiece and her jewellery um, here and that is MN116 Eggplant, so it's from the Monarch set, BW08 Amethyst, so that's the Black Widow, the original set, CB65 Purple Haze, that's the Cobra set and MN103 Grey Slate from the Monarch set. Um, we then have her skin, well, not skin, but you know what I mean, like it's a, like a weird skin fur feather hybrid um, kind of thing going on, one of the above. Um, I do like how it came out actually, but I did end up um, putting quite a few layers into it to get the colour definition that I wanted. So this is the combo for her skin. We have SD022 Mud, and that's the dark skin set. BW08 Amethyst, that's the Black Widow set. CB35 Bubblegum, so the Cobra set. SC20 Pig's Ear, that's the Scorpion set. MN106 Fudge, that's the Monarch. And MN071 Cream from the Monarch. We then have her beak, which I really like. Um, the colour combo for this one and uh, we'll definitely use that one again um, and that is this combo here so we have again the SD022 Mud that's the dark skin set SC99 Burnt Orange from the Scorpion set MN079 Aztec Gold from the Monarchs and MN071 Cream from the Monarchs um, for the sky that's just a little quick combo of three um, there is some purple in the edging of this, you don't really see it, but I just laid it down underneath there to darken up my blue. And that's MN116 Eggplant, Monarch, MN064 Storm Blue, Monarch, and SC17 Blue Horizon, Scorpion. And then the last thing that I have on this page is this um, metal look. Uh, her mayor... Um, I don't know what you call them. It's like a cowl, but in metal. So there's that. And that is this set here. And I used SD024 Midnight. That's the dark skin set. BW16 Spiderweb from the Black Widows. SL021 Brown Frog from the light skin set. And BW91 Casper from the Black Widow set. And that, that is that page pretty much in its entirety. So... That is that set of combinations. We then have the page I did, bear with me, let me put that out of the way, from Doya Kakisi's Colour and Chicks. This is book one and I did Rose in here, so bear with me. That is this page, hope you can see that. Uh, let me refocus because I think it will have moved, there we go. Uh, so, from this page, I have a couple of different pencils. 
we've got the green colours here are, hang on, moving in, the Brute Vuna squares, because you know how I feel about those, so I use them regular. Um, and it's this kind of brown green combination that I've got. So it's 031, 030, 081, and 076 from the Brute Vuna square set. Um, and then her dress, this kind of orange yellow combination that turned out really nicely, um, is also the Brute Funa squares and we're 005, 003, 002 and 069. Um, we then have this pink combination for this fan in the back, uh, same pencils again and we've got 052, 061 and 011 for this pink set. Um, that then takes us into this hair combination. Um, I don't know how well you can see it on my camera. I will drop my light in a little bit. Um, there we go. So um, I've actually got two hair types in here. I've got a gingerish brown and a reddish brown. So the two sets for the hair there are Endure Went Light Fast and the reddish brown is chocolate, chestnut, merlot and pale peach. And then this more orangish brown, um, this set here is chocolate, chestnut, merlot and dark honey. So pretty close in the, pitch, in the <laughs> pictures, in the the colours that I picked I just changed the undertone highlight that I added to them and then finally her skin is done in the luminance because I find they're the easiest set for me and these are this combo here so we have 748 dark flesh 876 burnt ochre 50%, 745 dark flesh 40%, 068 herculanum red, 821 naples ochre and 581 pink white um, to get this. These are a light grayscale page just for reference because obviously that does change the way your colours look a little bit because it adds that grey shade to them and uh, that is that page. That brings us to the page I did a little bit back in, oh no, most recently, should I say actually, in my Fairy and Fantasy 3 by Christine Caron. I have this page, this Orchid Dream. This is quite a recent video that I did. And this is also a speed colour that is up on the channel um if you're interested in that i will pop the videos i've mentioned in the description box down below for you guys so you can watch them if you want to um i'm really pleased with the way her eyes came out in this one and i do like the flowers i must i must admit uh, so for this set again the greenery the green brown combination here is the Brute Funa square set in 031, 030, 081 and 076. And then this flower combination is actually a pink, orange and kind of yellow cream. Um, so that is this combo here. I've used that on all these different um, variations. And again in the Brute Funa square, and they are 052, 061, 005, 003, 002 and 069. Her hair colour is Faber-Castell Polychromos. Um, they just work out really nicely when you're doing hair. You get this really lovely actual hair texture to them. And the combination I've used here is this set here and it's 177 Walnut Brown, 178 Nugget, 179 Bista, 182 Brown Orca. Um, yeah, a bit of everything here guys, sorry. So for the skin, <laughs> we have Prismacolor pencils um, and I do actually really like the way the Prismacolor pencils did the skin for on this new Amazon paper. I'm actually quite pleased with how they came out because usually I do need to rely on luminance. So I am I'm branching out and I'm learning, I'm improving as I go. Um 
And this set of Prismacolor for her pale skin tone here is 1099 Espresso, 1082 Chocolate, 1092 Nectar, 997 Beige, 1012 Jasmine, 914 Cream and 938 White. Um, and then the final set is her eyes I did in Brute Funa Square. 030-081-076 and 005 and as I said before this is a speed colour on my channel so you can colour along with this um, and watch it done and I do do this colour combination video every month so there is actually a playlist on my channel if you want to see past episodes for more colour combinations so that is that page a couple more to go guys um, that then takes us to another Do You Could Kia set and I worked in Colour and Cheeks book 2 and we have the Fairy Lake page and that is this pretty page. This is a Let's Colour on my channel so there's two parts to it and I, not a speed colour, I go through slowly in depth showing you how I coloured this page uh, and I'm really pleased with how she turned out. Again this is the Prismacolor pencil on this um, paper it lays down really well and some Lyra. So combinations we have this beautiful little ladybird or moth i'm making that up sorry <laughs> butterfly or moth depending on how you label it um in a prisma color and we are 935 black along the edging 1078 black cherry just inside it 1003 spanish orange going into this 140 eggs eggshell um, we then have for her top and for the water droplets this green blue combination here. Um, I'm thinking I used the exact same combination for her eyes as well. Yes, I did. Um, so, also for this set here, all I've done is added a little bit of brown into the middle for the eyes. So, I might have actually. I get confused because I, I forget to label things. So the blue top and the water is in Prismacolor 901 Indigo Blue, 103 Cerulean Blue, 1087 Powder Blue, 1089 Pale Sage and the top is just the three above without that Pale Sage green in. The frog down here is Prismacolor and that is this combination here and we are 908 Dark Green, 1096 Kelly Green, 120 Sap Green Light and 189, 1089 Pale Sage. For these little leaves just going, let me drop her down, just going around her head. We are this combo here and that is 908 Dark Green, 1096 Kelly Green and 1089 Pale Sage. And then for these large leaves here, that is this combination here and we are 908 Dark Green, 1097 Moss Green, 1096 Kelly Green and 1089 Pale Sage. Hang on. Yep, yeah, Pale Sage. And you'll see that I've used the same colours in different combinations. So you're not adding too many colours to your page, but each set of these greens, when it's done, does look different. Um, we then have... Oh yes, uh, for these eyes, a little bit intense how many colours I used, to be honest. I have this combination here, um, and it's 924 Crimson Red, 1003 Spanish Orange, and 140 Eggshell. Um, so I do then have her eye combination down, because I used, uh, I added the, the brown and the, the sage into this combo here. So we are, for the eyes, 1082 Chocolate, 901 Indigo Blue, 103 Cerulean Blue, 1087 Powder Blue, and 1089 Pale Sage, just for this green reflection in the bottom. Um, I then have for her skin, um, which again, very pleased, 
with how this turned out and this is actually in Prismacolor 1099 Espresso 1082 Chocolate 1012 Jasmine 1092 Nectar 997 Beige and 914 Cream and her cheeks are the Clay Rose 1017 as I said if you want to see how that is actually done um, you, you can click on the Let's Colour video down below to um, you know have a proper walkthrough for that um, for her lips here that is this combination here and we're 924 crimson red 1092 nectar 140 eggshell um, and they're the prisma again and then the only thing that was different the hair is done in lyra polycolor that is this combination here I do like how it came out in the end. I wasn't enjoying it while I did it. I thought it wasn't looking right. But once I got it all on, um, I do like the hair. They, they're a really nice, firm, hard lead. So they're really lovely for getting that, you know, that hair stroke on the page. And they are 075 Dark Sepia, 076 Van Dyke Brown, 033 Wine Red, 082 Brown Orca and 002 Cream. And that is that set there. So that is that page. Um, we're then back to my Fairy and Fantasy 3 page. And we are this Pearls of Life page. Again, quite pleased how this came out. Um, I don't have a full colour along on this, but I do have a How I Colour Water Droplets video, um, which we did these water droplets. So again, I'll pop that down below in case you, <laughs> I don't know, want to colour some water droplets. Um, so... We are, again, for the hair, the Lyra Rembrandt pencils. I'll check that I'm on. Yep. <laughs> um, and that is this combination here. With 075 Dark Sepia, 033 Wine Red, 076 Van Dyke Brown and 082 Brown Orca. The eyes are Prismacolor pencils. 1082 Chocolate, 901 Indigo Blue, 103 Cerulean Blue and 1087 Powder Blue. Um, for the greenery for the roses, Prismacolor in 908 Dark Green, 1097 Moss Green, 1096 Kelly Green and 1089 Pale Sage. Um, for the lips, this combo here, again in Prismacolor, 924 Crimson Red, 1017 Clear Rose, 1092 Nectar and 140 Eggshell. Um, for the roses, here, they're a bit of a mix. I actually used one Lyra Rembrandt in 033 Wine Red for the shadow um, and then the rest of that combination is Prismacolor, so 924 Crimson Red. 1017 clear rose 1092 nectar and 938 white if you've got the prisma all you really need is a bit of um, a burgundy color i just it's what i had in my in my pile so it's what i used and then again prisma color for the skin um and i am pleased with how she came out it is over the gray scale so of course as always it changes the color slightly and we are 1099 Espresso, 1082 Chocolate, 1017 Clay Rose, 1092 Nectar, 1012 Jasmine, 997 Beige, 914 Cream and 938 White. And that is that page. Okay, that then brings us to my Hannah Lynn um, I've got the pocket size Enchanted Faces book and I did the April Fairy so right that is my butterfly girl just check yes um, that is this page here and I used for her hair this combination here is the Derwent Lightfast 
and that is chocolate, chestnut, merlot and pale peach. For the greenery here, that is the light fast again, in mallard green, olive earth and light bronze. The butterflies here are all different combinations of this set combo here, which is purple, autumn red and dusky pink. I love how this one came out. Um, and then her eyes, for some random reason, I had Brute Funa pencils in my hand. So they're the Brute Funa squares in 030, 081 and 076. You'll recognise the combo. It's obviously a set of pencils I must have had on the side. Um, and that is that set. I haven't written the skin colour down for this page, I'm afraid. Sorry. Sometimes that happens. So that is that one. And then the last page I have to share with you today is um, from Call on Douglas's Dream World. I recently did this moth page. Um, now my background is just alcohol marker. This is a pale purple and a blue, um, but the rest is pencil. And we have the green, I'm not forgetting this is over grayscale. So again, it's quite a dark grayscale. It will change the colours of the pencils slightly. So all the greenery on this page in Black Widow is Cobra 100, Opal Green, Scorpion 49, Charcoal Green. Pop you on there, sorry. Scorpion 62, Olive Green and Monarch 119, Antler. For the flower combination up here, we have this combo here, and that is Skin Light 006 Carrot, Black Widow 03 Toadstool, Scorpion 38 Tanned. And for these little bubbles, I've just got two purple colours, um, that is this combo here, in Scorpion 53 Deep Purple and Cobra 55 Tulip. And then the last combo I have is this Moth himself and that is this combination here and it's uh, dark skin 23 chalk tone cobra 61 blood diamond cobra 50 fire and black widow 03 toadstool and uh, that is kind of you know my last chunk of pages um, I try not to do too many in one video sorry guys and uh, yeah, I hope you found that somewhat useful in any respect. Like I said, I have a playlist. It's called Sharing Colour Combinations or Colour Combinations, if I remember right, um, on my playlist tab. So you can check the past videos that I've done. And yeah, I hope you found that. <laughs> I don't know. I'll continue these videos as long as people enjoy them. Let me know. Pop a thumbs up in the comments down below. Please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.